In the winding avenues of Mumbai's Kalagoda area lies the Nisat Eliyahu Synagogue, a symbol of one of India's smallest religious communities, the Baghdadi Jews. Wrapped in a facade of elegant neoclassical architecture, it is a symbol of Mumbai's multicultural past. Hi, my name is Arundhati and I'm a second year student of history. Today I'm going to be talking about the Nisat Eliyahu Synagogue. I really wanted to highlight this monument in particular because I feel that the Jewish community has been such a central and integral part of Mumbai's history. I really valued the opportunity to visit the synagogue, see its renovations for myself, and interact with members of the community who utilize it on a daily basis. The Jewish presence in India is over 2,000 years old. India's three main Jewish communities, the Cochin Jews, the Bene Israel and the Baghdadi Jews, have all made their presence felt in a variety of ways. The origins of India's oldest Jewish community, the Bene Israel, is shrouded in mystery. There are multiple stories, bordering on legends, about how their ancestors ended up on the Konkan coast practicing half-remembered Jewish customs. Some claim that they are descendants of the lost tribes of Israel, shipwrecked in India while fleeing Assyrian persecution in their homeland. Others believe their ancestors were stranded on the western coast during a failed trading expedition. For centuries, the Bene Israel integrated with the local population while maintaining their ancestral religious traditions. The Baghdadi Jews arrived in India from Baghdad about 250 years ago for a variety of reasons. Some fled persecution by the leaders in Baghdad, while others simply sought the economic opportunities that India offered. This group of immigrants included David Sassoon, a prominent trader and businessman who migrated to Mumbai and made a huge fortune here. The Sassoons were great philanthropists who were benefactors of numerous public buildings, such as the David Sassoon Library in Mumbai and the Sassoon Hospital in Pune. To serve the needs of the fast-growing local Jewish community, Jacob Sassoon, the grandson of David Sassoon, constructed the Nisat Eliyahu Synagogue in 1884. The synagogue and the presence of the Baghdadi Jews in Mumbai drew many Bene Israel up the Konkan coast and to the city, helping to unite the disparate Jewish populaces. The rich and complex history of India's Jewish community is reflected in the synagogue's architecture. Its decorative style takes inspiration from classic Victorian Gothic buildings. The cast iron chandeliers and pillars, still visible today, exemplify this. The synagogue altar built to face Jerusalem also features large, elegant stained glass windows. What makes these windows particularly interesting is that they feature plants that are native to the Indian subcontinent. One can see pomegranates and roses prominent in the window's central paneling. The synagogue also houses a rich collection of hand-painted parchment Torah scrolls. These are stored in a waterproof cabinet to protect them from the onslaught of Mumbai's monsoon season. Plaques on the wall list the Ten Commandments in Hebrew. During services, the rabbi preaches from the center of the room at a platform known as the bima. The bima is made of ornately carved marble and it faces those massive stained glass windows. During services, women are seated in the upper balconies and kosher meals are served during Shabbat. The synagogue services are open to all. In 2019, the synagogue underwent extensive renovation and it is under the management of the Sir Jacob Sassoon Trust. Following the creation of Israel in 1948, most of the Indian Jewish community migrated there in the 50s and the 60s. The current Jewish population in India is less than 5,000 people. Today, the Nisat Eliyahu Synagogue serves as both a place of worship and a community centre for the small Jewish community, marking their place in the heart of Mumbai. <laughs>